Lord, as you know, your people are under attack. At a level never seen before in the history of mankind, They're constantly confronted by a kingdom that is intrinsically evil. Once we look behind the facade of Satan's presentation that seems so appealing, I pray, Lord, that you will give us eyes to see what the enemy is doing. We have accepted within our churches, within our own hearts, that there's a different view than Scripture. It's a poisonous and failing substitute for the one true God and the gospel that can deliver our souls. If you want to be a Christian, an overcoming Christian, this is the spirit that we must overcome. It's the simplicity of who this Jesus is that you begin to see him and you see him glorious and beautiful and magnificent. You begin to see him all powerful. So you begin to understand what it is for this all powerful God to dwell in you that gives victory from the inside out. His divine power has given you everything you need for living a godly life. The world promises these things. It promises to, to fulfill us and satisfy us with all that it has to offer. But the reality is it can't make good on its promise. God wants to give you freedom. <laughs>